In this video, we'll look at automation and how to use it. There are three different things or parameters that you can automate in Soundtrap. The way you access them is you click on this button right here, which is your automation button, and it pulls up this little automation lane right here. And then if you click on automation, you'll be able to choose either to automate pan, sweep, or volume. Let's start with volume because that's the most obvious. If you choose this, now this line is basically saying what is the level of your volume over time. So maybe I want it to start out really loud, so I bring this line up, and then I want it to get quiet over time. For measure one to two, I want it to get quieter, and then I want it to get louder again to measure three, and then back down at four. You can do anything, any pattern that you want, but this will get the point across for now. So let's listen to that, and you can hear the volume go down, up, and down again. You can draw these lines however you want. You can make them very quick, or you can make them happen more gradually. And if you want, you can also delete a dot. So if you click on one of these dots and then hit delete or backspace, that will delete that. And then if you want to make a new one, you just click anywhere along that line and that'll create a new point. So that's how you draw a line and that's what volume automation would look and sound like. And now I'm going to click this X to completely get rid of this volume automation and it's going to totally delete that. And if I come back here, I can now say pan. So pan is short for panorama and it means left and right. So you'll need headphones or at least some decent speakers to be able to hear this because we're going to automate the sound of this one track to change from left to right. So left is on the bottom and right is on the top. So if I put a point here on the bottom, it's going to start on the left. And then if I put a point here on the top, in the course of these two measures, the sound is going to move from left ear to right ear. Let's listen to that. If you put it right in the middle, that will make the sound stay in the center. So it'll be evenly balanced between left ear and right ear, or left speaker and right speaker. Okay, so that's pan. One thing I might do is I might want to temporarily turn this off. So I don't want to delete it by clicking on this X, but I want to just temporarily turn it off. So I can click this, and that will temporarily disable it. Lastly, let's look at sweep. So sweep is a little bit harder to explain. Uh, so I have some visual aids that I think are going to help us here. So what sweep is, for you music nerds out there that already know this, sweep is essentially a filter, either a high pass, low pass, or a notch filter. If you don't know what that means, that's fine. I'm going to show you a visualization of it. There's five different types. Really, there's three, and there's three different versions of nasal, which is basically a notch filter. Let's start with muffled. So if I click muffled and I draw a line, I'm going to start it like this. Actually, no, I'll start from the top and then I'm going to have it gradually go down. So this is a low pass filter, which means only low frequencies are going to pass through. So you can see underneath this Soundtrap window, I've got this other thing that's visualizing the sound right here. And you can see on the left side, those are the low frequencies, and all the way to the right side, those are the high frequencies. And then you'll see this blue line moving, and that blue line is showing you what each of these sweeps does. So I'll let you hear this, and we're going to look at a visualization of this to help you understand. So that's a low pass filter or muffled. And you'll hear as you bring this point down, it's going to become more and more muffled. If you have this all the way up here, it's going to basically do nothing because it's letting all the frequencies through. Sounds normal. And if you go all the way down, you're going to hear almost nothing because it's blocking all the frequencies. Now let's look at the other types. So here's hollow, and this is, like it sounds, going to make it sound hollow. But this one works kind of opposite. So if I start it low and then I bring it high, you'll hear what happens. So I'm going to start it not all the way down, but pretty low, and it'll go all, not quite all the way up, but almost all the way up. And finally, let's look at nasal, which these three nasal automations are basically three different types of notch filters with just slightly different settings. 
And what these do is they're kind of a combination of muffled and hollow. It cuts some low frequencies and it cuts some high frequencies and it puts what's called a high Q or a high resonance on the frequencies that it is letting through. Nasal is going to sound and look something like this. And that's it for automation. See you in the next one.